In this video, we will be looking at LDAP reconnaissance against Active Directory. The basic idea behind LDAP is it's a very effective way for an attacker to learn about your Active Directory environment without needing any elevated rights. So from the second they get access to your network, they can do discoveries to find out where your vulnerable assets are, where your most sensitive and valuable assets are, and plan out an attack path to get from point A to point B. So to demonstrate this, I've built a very simple script that can take an LDAP filter and execute a query against my domain, the domain that I'm currently in, and it's going to output the object names from Active Directory that meet the criteria in my filter. So I'm just going to show you three quick examples which will demonstrate the types of capabilities and you should really see that just about any information within Active Directory is exposed through LDAP. So there's really no limits to what you can discover within Active Directory and again none of this requires any special privileges to do. So the first one I'm going to look for is all of my domain controllers. Uh, there's a couple ways to do that. I'm going to use a simple one which looks for the primary group ID to look for uh, your computers that are members of the domain controllers group and by executing that you can see I have three domain controllers in my environment and there's their name and you can pull back any additional properties you want to about those. A more complex example is to look for all domain admins. Let me copy this in and we'll take a look at that. So this is looking at multiple sets of attributes in Active Directory. It's looking for the, where an object is a person and more specifically within that category is a user and where they are a member of the domain admins group specified by the distinguished name of domain admins here. So by running that you can see all of my domain admins. So now I know which accounts are sensitive, which ones I may want to target. And if I wanted to pull back other information about their last logon timestamp or password security settings, I can pull that back as well. Uh, the last one I'm going to show you is leveraging user account control. So by looking into the user account control attribute, if you know how to query that, you can find out lots of in interesting information. This query will look for any account that has unconstrained delegation. These can be sensitive targets uh, for impersonation attacks. And by running this query, I can see all of the computers and users that have unconstrained delegation enabled in my domain. So you can imagine how an attacker could use this to do some discovery and learn how to build an attack against your environment. To find out more about attack strategies and how to defend against them, go to netrix.com slash attack.